Hi guys, uh, today I want to just uh, show you how to burn an ISO image to optical disc. Uh, I'll be showing you th how to burn a DVD disc, but the same thing applies to uh, if you're burning a CD image as well. Now um, I'll take you through Windows 7 and 8, uh, Windows XP and Vista, as well as uh, a Linux install, which is Ubuntu, and I'll uh, explain how to do it in Mac OS X too. Now before we start, obviously you're going to need a DVD burner. Now just some clarification there. Um, if your burner is, or if, if your drive is labelled DVD-RW, uh, probably with a plus or minus on that as well, then, it's, then that is a, a DVD burner. Uh, but if it's labelled DVD-ROM, then um, it will only burn CDs, it won't most likely only burn CDs, uh, it'll only play DVDs. Okay, so um, if you're stuck, if you've got a DVD image um, that needs to be burnt, you won't be able to do it in a DVD ROM, you'll need a DVD RW drive. Uh, just as a general rule, if your computer was made on or after 2008, it will most likely have a DVD RW drive. DVD burner. Um, the easiest way to find out is to, to follow this guide and pop in the disc and um, see if it burns or if there is even an option to burn because if there isn't then it's not a burner. Uh, you're going to need a blank DVD disc as well. Now the most common ones of those are DVD minus R and DVD plus R. Um, but that may vary around the world. Uh, initially when they first came out there were dozens of different formats, it was crazy, but it seems everyone settled on the minus R and plus R's. Um, they're basically the same, very little difference. So um, Now uh, we'll pop into Windows 7 and 8 first. Now it's the same for, for either one of those. Um, since Windows 7, Microsoft has had a built-in image burner thank God, because it's, um, it's, it was a real hassle before that, um, but now it's pretty easy. So uh, you don't need any third-party software. All you do is go to your ISO image file and you right-click on it. Preferably you've already put the blank DVD in the, in the drive and click off anything that pops up. Um, and right click on that ISO and you'll see an option there that says burn disk image. So we want to click that on. Now under disk burner it will show you your burner there if it is a burner. If you haven't got a burner then it'll be blank like that. All right. Now one option that you should check is verify disk after burning that one there. All right. um, that will check that it's burnt correctly. So once you've checked that just click burn and you're all done. Uh, now, Windows XP and Windows Vista, you will need to download a program to burn the ISO, and it's called ISO Recorder, uh, made by Alex Feynman on his website. And uh, there are a few other options you can do, free ISO burner, um, power ISO, things like that. Uh, I think Nero does it as well. Um, but with Nero, you've got to burn it as an image all right, um, so it should, there should be an option there somewhere to burn it as an image. Um, now with ISO Recorder, I've already installed that in here, in my XP uh, version here. Um, and this is the ISO file here. Again, all you do is right click on it once ISO Recorder is installed. And you'll see an option there that says copy image to CD. All right, so we want to select that. Uh, your DVD burner will show up here. We just want to leave everything at, def at defaults and click next. And then once it's finish, uh, finished, um, just click finish. Okay, so it's easy as that. Now Linux, I've got Ubuntu here, but it's the same for SUS uh, and a few others uh, major releases. They've got built-in burners. Uh, we right click on the ISO file and you'll see an option there that says write to disk all right so we want to click that on it'll automatically have the the iso that we clicked on in the the uh, image to write field and it will show you whether or not your disk and drive are capable of burning or not if if it is click on the create image button 
and you're all done. Simple as that. Now, if you're in Mac OS X, um, just go to system and then uh, disk utility is what you're after. Pop the disk in your drive and there should be an option there to burn an ISO image or burn image and just follow the instructions there. So it's pretty easy guys. Um, now if, if you have any questions or you've run into some, some trouble um, just leave some comments down below and I'll, I'll answer them as soon as I can. But uh, we're all done. Cheers guys, bye.